push B. Quantas in the paddock in my piece. Oh, it's gonna kill you. You're like, get off camera, man. We don't want no peace. Got a spot of cuffs, man. I got this Burberry faded topical. Yeah, you chosen. Fuck it up when you bust wide open. It's the ocean. I'm just imposing that you give it to me and just me only. Yeah, girl, you chosen. Fuck it up when you bust wide open. What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Honey K and make sure you subscribe because we lit over here. Period. Alright y'all, today we are starting another vlog. Y'all know how this go and if you don't, just make sure you stay tuned because we lit. Period. Like I said. But... I do want to start this vlog off with a message to my girls because I love y'all and I want the best for y'all and I just, I really try to respond to every DM that I get. Like if you DM to me on Instagram, more than likely I respond. Unless I legitimately do not see it, then I probably didn't respond. But I do try to respond to all of my DMs. The DM that I keep on getting over and over is a lot of girls keep asking me if I can get them into my club. Or if I can get them in as a bottle girl or a dancer or a lot of girls will tell me, hey, I'm coming to L.A., I want to be your partner and things like this that like pertaining like coming to work at my club. If I could, I would get everybody hired at my job. I would get every single one of you guys that want to be dancers hired at my job. Believe me, I would. I want all my girls to win. Even some of my friends want to work at my job and they don't. Because either they auditioned and they get hired or they have an audition and they need to go audition. My club in particular, I'm not going to say every club is this way, but my club in particular, you cannot just word to mouth. It is like a legitimate job. You need to go and audition just like a regular job you would go and get you would go and get interviewed by the manager or whatever the case may be. You need to go audition just like you would at interview. And they need to see if they like you. And if they like you, then you get hired. But to move along with the video, today is Friday. And I am going to the club tonight to work. I really didn't do much today, so. Something literally told me. No, I'm talking to my phone. <laughs> Not to come to work tonight. And I still came. It's like more strippers than customers. what's up guys i'm looking right here because i'm looking in the mirror so i'm doing my makeup right now for work and i realized that last night when i got home i did not update you guys at all i believe the last time y'all saw me was at the club it's just because i was really really pissed off and what i don't want to do is i don't want to be getting on the camera with bad energy like i know when i have attitude I do not know how to hide it. Like, there is no hiding my attitude. Today, I just been... I had made a little video for my best friend for her baby shower. Like, I was doing, like, behind the scenes and stuff for her. So, I had just finished that video up. I just been chilling. Honestly, today, I was just trying to get, like, in the right state of mind, kind of, to prepare myself to go to work tonight. Just because last night really, like, blew me to the point where... Even on my co-star, you guys, like, let me tell you guys what my co-star says right now. So, I'm a Sagittarius, as y'all know. If you don't know, then you must be new here because I'm a Sag, period. I even got it tatted on me. I'm a Sag. My moon is a Virgo, which is crazy. But when I read into it, it actually makes complete sense. Let me mute this. It actually makes complete sense. And my rising is a Taurus, which is crazy. If y'all don't know what CoStar is, it's like a astrology app. It tells you about your moon, your risings, all that stuff. And it tells you like how your week is gonna go, which is crazy because it be on point sometimes, y'all. Like yesterday through Tuesday, mine says, are you looking for chaos? It says, today you are scared of self-acceptance. You want framework for understanding emotions, yet you ignore any feeling that can be fact-checked. It's time to celebrate your imperfections. First one foot, then the other. Which is crazy because yesterday, before I went to work, I felt really, really good. Like, I was like, I feel cute. Like, you know, I'm gonna make some money today. It's Friday. And then I got to work, and it just, like, I literally didn't get picked for any sections until the end of the night. I got picked for one section, and I made $300 off that section. I didn't get on stage last night, which I probably should have because I had such a bad night. 
Um, I should have got on stage probably to make my night a little better. But I just was like not feeling myself. Like once I was at work, I just, everything went downhill for me. Like all my energy of me feeling good was gone because I wasn't getting picked for sections. And that doesn't happen a lot. So like I felt some type of way. I was upset. So I, and then like I was trying to work the floors Nobody was trying to throw money like I just ended up sitting down because I was annoyed and like I was on my phone. I was just annoyed like I didn't want to be there. I honestly was going to go home early, but I was like, bro, you didn't make no money. Like if you go home right now, it's 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 bad. So since I didn't make no money, I stayed the entire time. And then around like the last 45 minutes of the club being open, a section had came in and they had picked me for their section. They was from Dallas. Shout out to Dallas because you saved my night. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have made a dollar. I went home with $300 just from that section. Not, And I had like $4 in my solo bag from somebody throwing $4 at me. My spirits were just down today. And it's very gloomy outside and like... I feel like when it's gloomy outside, that affects my mood. Gloomy weather makes me want to just stay in the house. But I was like, if I had a bad Friday, I have to work Saturday to try to make up for Friday. But right now, I'm just about to go out to the bowling alley really quick with some friends before work. I don't know if I'm going to bowl or not, but we'll see because I'm not going to stay long. But we'll see what happens. I'll keep you guys updated and let y'all know. Feeling young, but they treat me like the OG. And they want the tea on me, I swear these bitches nosy. Said he put some money on my head, I guess we gon' see. I won't put no money on his head, my niggas owe me. I gotta be sick. This is a problem. It's ridiculous. It's, I don't understand. It's getting Just annoying me, and I'm too about it. And the dirt that they do on my name turn to soil, and I grew up about it. Time for y'all to figure out what y'all gonna do about it. Big wheels keep rolling, rolling. I'm outside, 29, G5, C5. I'm a winner, and that's a serious. 125. Alright y'all, so today is Sunday. Last night, I don't even know if I updated y'all at all. After we had went bowling, I had just came home. I didn't even go to work last night. Y'all, y'all do not mind my hair. Um, I just been, last night I just came home. And today, I just been chilling in the house all day, really. I actually filmed a cooking video. And I did a story time with the cooking video about the time that I have fought my old best friend. Now make sure y'all go watch that video. That video will be posted before this vlog is posted. So the link to that video will be in the description. Of course, I always have my last video in the description if y'all did not know. In that video, we cooked the pasta. I did eat some of it, as you can see. It came out really, really good. So make sure you go head over and watch that video. Besides that, I'm not going to work tonight. I thought about going, but this weekend had just been kind of dry. So I was like, I'm not going. Friday was very much not worth my time or energy. And then Saturday, which was yesterday, I had went bowling and I was going to go to work after. But I'm kind of glad I didn't go because I actually had one of my regulars sell me $1,000. So I was like, well, whatever. Um, I could have went, but I just had a bad feeling again. Like, I feel like this weekend is just not going to be a good weekend. So I was like, honestly, he zelled me $1,000. So I'm going to just take that and just leave it at that. So that's basically my money count for yesterday was $1,000. And I got to have a good time, go bowling and all that. So, yeah. Shout out to that person. Thanks. Tonight, I'm just about to be chilling in the crib, y'all. So, yeah, I'll probably see y'all tomorrow. What's up, guys? So, today is Tuesday now. I really don't even know when's the last time y'all saw me. Today, I'm with my best friend, Shay. She's doing something. I'll show you guys her in a second. 
Say we just going to hot and juicy right now because I'm hungry. And then I'm going to go to Sephora and I'm going to finally get some stuff that I've been needing to get from Sephora. I'm going to grab that. I'll do a little haul of everything I get today because I plan on getting a couple things. I'm ready to eat this crab. I ain't ate nothing all day. It's 2 o'clock. I ain't ate nothing all day. It's crazy. It's crazy. This is why I'm getting, I'm losing weight. I'm about to start drinking insurance because this is not cute. For drinking shirts, I'm gonna get thick, bitch. And it's gonna be over with. <laughs> then I'm not gonna know how to act. I'm about to get my hair redone, though. Because I'm over this hairstyle already. I'm about to make my appointment. I had to order some hair, though. So I gotta wait for my hair to get here. But, y'all, I bought my goddaughter some stuff. So, you gonna open it? Yeah. I bought my goddaughter some stuff yesterday. Oh, I didn't even take y'all with me to get the stuff, but I went to the store and I got some stuff. I got some slippers for my house. And I had to go to the baby section because I have a goddaughter. But, okay. Y'all, this is Shay. Hi, guys. <laughs> she never fucking talks to y'all. No. Oh, she look cute. You look good on camera, bitch. Period. It's that pregnant glow. Okay. She's Wait. Like the cute out of me. Isn't that so freaking cute, y'all? Okay, do you like them? So cute. You like it? Yes. Okay. Oh, it got the little. I didn't even notice it had the little. Yeah. That's cute. Ooh. And then the go here. Yeah. Here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get With into some it. Booty shorts. Oh my god. That'd yeah. be so cute. Oh, and then oh, why is oh, it the opposite no. way? It's the gold prints for me. Yeah. The gold hands. Them so cute. Oh, you keep her with. The, I keep her with the Nike yeah. socks, y'all. She needs. She these. says she needed some towels, so yeah, I got she some towels. Needs these for and it's a 12 pack, so that's a few. That's good. 12 actually. pack is good. And then you say you need the bottles. Oh, thank you. Yeah, those said, this said that this is the most comfortable nipple. That's what they said. I don't think she has this nipple neither, so we'll see. Yeah, so then you can compare it to her other I'm nipples. I'm going to try to breastfeed, so. Uh, oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that shit cute. I was like, nah, they have so much so cute, cute girl stuff. Maybe I need to go in that in that one yeah because every time i go in the one by my house they don't have cute baby stuff yeah she looks so cute i don't know if the lighting is good i don't know but look at the belly it's the dress in the belly for me this is something i would wear pregnant it's giving <laughs> it's giving we don't wear maternity clothes it's giving i just have on a black top Gucci you go Nothing, nothing special. Everybody's telling her how cute she freaking looks today, you guys. What are you talking about? I don't know how people really do mukbangs because, like, I want to eat my food. I want to be, like, I'm not going to be talking. <laughs> I mean, but you got to think about it. We be talking. We do be talking, yeah. We be talking, so you can't really say it like that. But we would just have to come up with a really good, good topic. topic. Something to talk about, like, yeah. turn offs of these niggas. Oh, no. How they just turn us off, all the way off. See more of what I do. Money is money, babe. Okay. 
$60. Massage, lotion, stretch marks. I don't have stretch marks. I don't have that. It's to prevent it though, right? I don't know. I don't have it. Mm. I'm going to look over here because I think they over here. I need pimple patches, y'all. <laughs> yeah. It's called a mighty patch. I'm just gonna get this one. And then I wanna get these eye patches. They're only $3.99. Your eye, vitamin C, spot, serum mask. What I want. making my own sauce and I was like honestly I'm never gonna buy store bought sauce again yeah like it tastes way better and that's easy you season yeah it's so easy I was like wow this whole time I did not know it was that easy <laughs> the whole entire time my camera's gonna die though I'll see you guys when I get home okay so what's up guys I've been home for a little while now and I went to Target and Sephora and I also went to go check my P.O. box. So I want to open some stuff for you guys and show y'all what I got. Which I'm really happy I went to Sephora finally because I've been needing to go to Sephora for multiple things. So the first thing I got is the Faded Topical. I got the Faded Topical. My girls have been telling me to get this for my hyperpigmentation so... 
I went to go get it finally, and I'm gonna see if it works for me or not. I'm actually really excited about that one though, because I saw really good reviews about it. Then I finally got my Fenty contour stick, so I can continue to learn how to beat this face better and better every time. So I'm excited to use this and see how I do my makeup with this. I'll be sure to show y'all, of course, because I'm gonna be on camera. I'm practice makes perfect, so. I got this Burberry perfume. It smells so good, you guys. It is her. I literally got this perfume because I was like, well, it's travel size, of course, as y'all see. But my trip is in 30 days, and I've just been buying little stuff for my trip here and there. I'm actually about to order my cart with my some outfits in it too but i got this perfume for my trip i just wanted a new scent and i don't have no burberry scents so i just got that one so i could take it with me on my trip and then i went to target you guys and i got some cocoa butter lotion from target and then i got leave pretty anti-puff eye patches for puffy under eyes and dark circles. Y'all, I've been wanting some eye patches and I didn't know which ones to try. But this one said it was for puffy under eyes and dark circles. And I be feeling like I be having dark circles sometimes because y'all know my sleeping schedule is crazy. So I got these. I'm going to see if they help if I see any difference with my under eyes. I need to get rid of these bags, okay? I also got some mighty patches i got the invisible ones um it comes with 24 in here this is like the pimple patches y'all know these i haven't got any pimples but you know i do get pimples when my cycle comes around so i got those because i know my cycle is about to come so i'm like i'm i just know i'm gonna get a pimple so let me just get these patches for that pimple so that it can go away and as soon as it go away i'm gonna go in with my faded and i'm gonna get that dark marks away once i get these dark marks away it's done it's done i'm gonna be outside no makeup on all summer like pretty is pretty face yes like <laughs> i got this flamingo treatment for my girl so when you shave it prevents you from getting ingrown hairs um honestly i'm not a fan of shaving down there but if you do you know you gotta use I had to get this serum because shaving just be ugh. I don't like shaving. Shaving is not it. Speaking of shaving, I'm about to start trying to use this. Um, it's called shaving powder. This girl on TikTok posted it, and basically, like you just put it under your arms or wherever you want to remove hair, and it's a powder, and you just let it sit, and then you just wipe it off like nair, but it's not supposed to burn like nair because y'all. I'm trying to use Nair, but Nair be burning. Like, I don't like Nair. And I got the sensitive Nair, and that one don't remove the hair as good as the regular Nair. So it's like, you can't wait for losing. And I really just hate shaving. And then waxing, I cannot always wait four weeks to go get a wax. Sometimes I have to get rid of the hair before my four weeks to my wax. So waxing is like, I usually only wax if I haven't been working a lot. I'll just like let my hair grow and get a wax. Is this TMI? Probably. Whatever. The girls be asking me questions like these, though. In the comments, some of the girls was asking me, do you shave? Do you? I want to shave in powder, y'all. Shave in powder? I'm about to see what it's talking about. If this is a win, I'm going to be happy because I want to do laser, laser hair removal. But I just, like, I've heard that it hurts so bad. So I'm just like, if I do laser hair removal, like, I got to be prepared for that pain. And I'm not prepared for that pain, so I'm going to do this shaving powder first. But I did get a package from this lovely company, TK Cosmetics. Make sure you follow them on Instagram. This is her card. It's really, really nice, you guys. Look at this. How cute is this? Period. I like the logo, the T and the K. Yes, it's giving. It's her cosmetic brand. Let's see. She sent me a couple things. Oh, look. It says, thank you, honey K. It tells me how to pronounce it right here. T Key is a small business that makes vegan lip glosses and lip scrubs at affordable prices. We really hope you enjoy and make sure that you follow us on Instagram at T Key Cosmetics. So make sure y'all go follow them at T Key Cosmetics. And then she also gave me a list. I think this is a list of what she, this might be a list of what I got, yeah. Oh, I got some limited edition stuff. 
Okay, so I have Sorority Girl Lip Gloss, Silver Cloud, Just Shine, Three Kittens. And then she gave me lip scrubs, and then a pineapple lip gloss, and a AKA Limited Edition. Okay, let's open this up. This is the packaging. This is the packaging. It comes in front and back like this. Too cute, too cute. I should take a picture of this before I open it for Instagram. Hold on. Y'all know I gotta shout the small businesses out on Instagram and make it look cute. Because I appreciate y'all and I want y'all to thrive and I want to help promote the business. Free. I'm trying to support the businesses, okay? Let me tag her. This is cute too. I did a little boomerang. It came out cute. It's a little boomerang I did. On IG, I'm gonna tag her and I'm gonna say thank you. Thanks, girl. I love y'all know I love lip gloss. Per, I love lip gloss and a lip scrub too. Okay, let's open this up and see what it looks like. These are the lip scrubs, y'all. So this is lip scrub. Let's see what this smell like. Mmm, that smells really, really good. Wow, look at this. It smells really, really sweet. Oh my gosh. I can't wait to try this. I love lip scrubs now. Every time I do my lip scrub, I feel like my lips are so soft and it looks so good. This one smells like candy. It smells like a candy. I can't put my finger on what kind of candy it smells like. And then this one came with this lip gloss. I think this lip gloss is the limited edition one. It has these little balls in it. I see you got these little balls in it. I've never seen that before in lip gloss. I wonder what that is. And then it comes with another card inside of the three-pack lip gloss. There's three in here, and it says, Thank you for supporting my business. Your purchase made my day. I hope this package brightens yours. That's cute. This is giving my lip glosses popping, period, okay? And then this is giving very much night out. If, I wonder if it's like if it comes out this color on your lips too. Because if it does, you don't have to do I won't have to do no lip combo. I could just do this with a clear gloss on top and be ready. And you know, you can't never go wrong with the straight clear gloss. This one probably gonna be gone first. This one is definitely gonna be gone first. This one probably, then this one, and then this one. Y'all, all of these is about to get used up. Truthfully, for being honest, these are all about to be gone, okay? Make sure you guys go follow her. Thank you so much for sending me this package, girl. I really appreciate it. And honestly, y'all, I'm going to end the video here. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to watch some of my old videos. Make sure you don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And make sure you turn your post notifications on so you can be notified every time I post a video because who don't want to watch me? We're lit over here, period. I hope this vlog was cool, y'all. Um, I feel like it might have been all over the place a little bit, but... Y'all get it? I really didn't work like that this weekend, but next weekend I will be back at it like usual. This weekend was just off to a slow start, so I had to cut it off, okay? But next weekend we back to it, y'all. We just got to chill, do some shopping, you know, girl, fun stuff. So, so yeah, see you guys next time. Girl, you chosen. Fuck it up when you bust wide open. It's the ocean. I'm just imposing.